The Iraq war has had a detrimental effect on the ethics of the entire society. Um, it starts with the lying, uh, the lying that um, brought us into that war, uh, the claim that there was, uh, there were uh, ish, um, mass, ish, uh, instruments of mass destruction that the other side had, um, that actually there was no evidence for, and uh, we were all told that there was evidence for it, significant evidence for it. Now, the impact of that lying um, was to undermine people's faith in the government and in um, and actually in each other. Because if the highest and most respected people in the society uh, lie to you and lie to you um, not over um, matters purely of uh, uh, trivial issues, but of the most fundamental issue about life and death, um, then who can one trust? And this has a um, an effect all through the whole whole society. Um, added to that, the the attempt to throw out of uh, of the administration's um, uh, reach anyone who questioned the lies um, meant that there was a um, an intimidation that went on through the whole society um, about whether one could speak one's truth, and the then the prosecution of um, those truth tellers, the people who are whistleblowers inside first the uh, that administration, and that's continued right uh, along in the Obama administration, where instead of rewarding and as uh, uh, prophets of you know who speak truth to power, we instead imprison or at least try to uh, try to bring to prison, uh, fire them from their jobs. The truth tellers um, has a corrosive effect on anybody feeling that they can tell the truth and, and uh, when they're challenging people with power. Now, next you have the, if, um, this uh, lying was done for the self-interest of, uh, of Bush um, and not for the best interest uh, even of some crazy theory about foreign policy. But many people who know Bush know that he was personally um, offended by the way that Saddam Hussein had treated his father and had decided to use the 9-11 uh, uh, as an excuse to start a war that would, uh, that would uh, end in the overthrow of Saddam Hussein in Iraq, even though there was not an, a scintilla of evidence that there was any connection between 9-11 and the Iraq regime. Um, so this, this legitimated an ethos that has already been deep in American consciousness of, hey, look out for number one, and it's okay to advance your own interest without regard to the consequences for others. Well, when you see that happening on the national level, then everybody says to themselves, well, wait, if they do that, and this is the way things are, then I ought to also advance my own interests. And if I have to advance my own interests by lying, I'll do it. So this is a, a, an incredibly corrosive effect on the ethical life of a society because people no longer feel that they can count on the truth of what other people are saying because people feel, okay, it's, this is how it is. One, can, uh, one should just advance oneself. Now, not to say that this is the start of the ethos of selfishness in the American society. No, that's built into the capitalist marketplace. But nevertheless, the degree to which uh, that becomes pervasive in the government of our society, uh, of our society uh, well, is shown right now in uh, the um, the two facedness of uh, President Obama, who has, uh, on the one hand, made loving statements about how much he respects the Native Americans, and on the other hand, has ordered uh, has allowed the, his uh, his administration to order throwing the people off of their land, um, and allow, uh, if they continue to stand up and fight against that pipeline. But so, and then you get the quintessence of this in the Trump Trump's uh, way of moving to the White House, systematic lies to everybody, and, um, and media intimidated and afraid to challenge the lies and say that they are lies. Well, this all flows from that original dynamic that came from the uh, Iraq war. So, um, so the ethos of selfishness uh, is, um, uh, is so pervasive in the society um, because people uh, validate it and believe that that's the only way it can be. Um, 
So there was also in, in that a distinction between acts that are permissible in war and not. And the, 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 the war uh, set essentially was carried on um, through torture. And now we are here seeing that torture, since the, uh, since the administration never, pub uh, uh, the, the Obama administration never punished the people who engaged in torture, right now we see that torture being validated as a public part of the Trump administration. So the corrosive uh, uh, way that the um, Iraq war was pursued undermines the ethical life of our society in every dimension.